Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be working on the antenna rubber grommet on my FJ Cruiser. Now the rubber below the antenna is something that I've seen on many FJs degrade over time and uh, mine is no different. Mine has just a little bit of a tear. Um, I've seen some FJs where the rubber at the base is just completely gone and uh, today I'm going to go ahead and do a replacement on that. But I didn't buy the original Toyota OEM part. I just wanted to see if a cheaper alternative is going to do the trick. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a look at that and then we'll probably do a long-term review just to see how it holds up. So I bought this off of Amazon. The picture of it looked pretty similar to the OEM rubber piece. It cost about a third of the OEM part. I thought it was uh, worth the risk. So it is made in China. Uh, here is the information and I'm, I'll just go ahead and open it up here. This antenna base looks really phallic if you ask me but uh, it is what it is. So uh, right off the bat, I notice that it's not quite rubber. I can't really tell. It's more of a like a plastic, uh, especially this part here. And you know, it's got a little stretchability to it. And this piece, this base here, feels it does feel like rubber, although very cheap rubber, if I might, if I might say. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this on the FJ and see. Uh, See how and you know what, as an added bonus, I might just go ahead and coat this with some graphene ceramic coating. If you've watched my other video on Adam's graphene ceramic coating spray, I used a little bit of this on my FJ Cruiser's roof rack, and it did a pretty good job with some hydrophobic uh, quality. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and maybe put this on here just to give it a little bit of an extra protection from moisture. But before I do that, let's just go ahead and take a, some water and see what that does. So the water does bead, um, seems to, you know, seems to be a little bit hydrophobic. I might as well just go ahead and spray some of this graphene coating spray on it, just for good measure, because why not? So again, if you haven't seen the video that I did on this spray, go ahead and check that out in the video description right there. All right, it's on there. I'm just gonna let it dry. All right, so here's a look at our rubber antenna base. As I mentioned before, it's really not that bad, but there is some rubber tearing here. So uh, just for good measure, I wanna go ahead and replace this. So first things first is we gotta remove the antenna. So you just gotta unscrew it. It comes right off and then it'll give us access to the rubber piece here. All right, so now that the antenna base is off, uh, I started peeling away at this and you can see that the, that the rubber has already kind of started to break away. Um, yeah, it's getting really weak. So this FJ has been garaged for the basically the entire time I've had it and it's not been out in the sun very much. So if you do have your FJ out in the sun, then this will probably be a, a lot more brittle, but that'll give you a pretty good idea of how typical condition of one of these rubber bases. Uh, in a well-maintained garaged FJ. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can just peel this off now. It's really kind of surprising to see how much of this is just tearing away. Alright, I can already see the difference in quality from the OEM to this knockoff brand. Now you can see that this one here, this is the base here and it's super thick. It's wrapped around this little antenna base here and it's like really, really thick. Compared to this thing, which is just like really, really thin piece, um, you can see that there is a huge difference already. So this one seems to be a little bit more insulated. It is a little bit more of a thicker material, but it's almost 10 years old and uh, you can see how, how brittle this, this is becoming. So um, I'm having a hard time pulling this off. So hopefully I'll be able to get this out soon. All right, so I was finally able to get out that base and uh, I just wanted to show you a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, I actually used a pair of pliers and I was lucky enough to kind of get this pulled out before uh, too much of this was torn away. Unfortunately, if this was completely torn to shreds, I probably would not have been able to pull it out in such a, I guess, 
quote unquote complete piece with the pliers. But anyway, I just want to give you a look at this rubber, this OEM rubber. It's a lot thicker than um, than what we have here. Here we have the replacement piece, which is the knockoff, and super thin here. Uh, not much of a rubber seal. All the stuff that I just tore away is sort of thicker uh, rubber, which really wrapped wrapped around that base quite nicely. So you don't have the same thing here. So uh, I'm gonna. I guess I'll continue to take a chance on this just to kind of see uh, what kind of protection I get. I'm hoping that it lasts a while, but I think I paid around six bucks for this. So um, here's a look at the base with all of the rubber around it removed. I'm go going to go ahead and clean around here, but there's that base right there. Now that that has been cleaned off a little bit, I'm just going to go ahead and take the replacement piece and just going to slide it in there. So far, got a nice tight-ish seal, and it just kind of slips into place right there. And there it is. So, looks like it belongs. And now I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, antenna back into place. So here it is. Uh, right off the bat, I can tell that it is slightly smaller than the OEM piece because you can see the ring around it where the original rubber used to be. But it seems to be uh, a pretty decent seal. You know, the main point is just to kind of keep water out. I do have that uh, ceramic coating spray on there, so hopefully that does help a little bit. But there you go. It looks pretty much factory. Um, it feels a little bit, a little bit more flimsy than the original, but uh, I'll check back in a couple months just to kind of see how this is holding up. All right, so that's it, you guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will catch you on the next video.